Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Altmighty Java. In this video, we will see about local and internationalization. Let's search for Mighty Java GitHub. Open first link. Click on the Repositories tab. I added some of the basic changes in Pagination Advanced Repository. Open first repository. Click on Clone or Download button. Click on Download Zip. See it's downloading. Extract this zip file. Now let's import this project to Spring Source. Import as existing Maven projects. Click on Next. Now click on Finish. See now importing Maven projects. Let's run this as Spring Boot app. See server started. Let's open this application. See it's working. Log in with username as Mighty Java and password as password. Let's go through this application flow. Nothing much. Now let's see how to localize all these labels. Let's create a new class under the config package called localconfig. Annotate this class as configuration. And this class extends WebMVC configure adapter. Let's add some basic codes. This method will help for set default locale like I am setting default as English. This method will help for set query param name, like he will use as lang, as a query parameter. Now need to override add inceptors method and add locale change inceptor. Now let's create new method reloadable resource bundle message source. So inside this method, we will set base name like the class path of messages properties file we will keep inside the locale folder. That cache seconds 3600 so it will refresh cache once per hour. Let's create locale folder under resources. Now create properties file for messages. Let's start from the login page.
create properties for all the login page labels. It's very simple so just watch whatever I am doing. To use those properties need to add tag library for spring tags. And using spring message tag we can read those properties with key. So like that let's add all the properties for the login page. Let's run and see properties are coming or not. Now let's add properties for placeholder also. See it's very simple. See it's working. Now let's copy this rename for French properties file. Let's convert all properties from English to French. See I converted all properties. Let's check it's working or not. Add line equal to fr as a query parameter. See it's working. Now we added properties for only login page so like that we will add properties for all the JSP pages. I added all properties for both the languages. Let's check it's working fine or not. See it's working. See we added properties for pagination also. I forgot to add one property for logout. Let's add that.
See it's working fine. As you can see the show is still in English because it contains two dynamic parameters. Let's see how to convert this. So there is an element in spring message called arguments there we can pass the values with comma separated. See it's very simple. Let's check it's working or not. See it's working fine. I hope you understood whatever I tried to show from this video. See all the labels are now internationalized. But as you can see when I try to update something in that confirmation message is still coming in English. Or when you log out, log out success message is still in English. So next video we will see how to internationalize server side messages. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.